G'day guys and gals, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4's Best Mods. Or if this is your first time here, be sure to check out the other episodes of the series where we overhaul Fallout 4 with over 200 mods, changing everything from the weather to how many grenades those spammy raider f**ks have access to. Link is in the card in the top right hand corner of your screen now. And if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to see them all in action when I start my Fallout 4 playthrough, hopefully later this month. But I digress. In the last episode, we looked at packaging our texture mods more neatly. However, this required the use of one of those 255 plugin slots for Fallout 4 mods. Now, some of you won't ever reach that mark, but if you're watching this, then I assume you have, and we're gonna fix it. So if you wanna squeeze a few more mods into your game, then you're gonna need Merge Plugins by Matter the Eternal. Now, some of you may have noticed that these have blue buttons as opposed to the green that we're used to for Fallout 4, and that is actually because we are looking at Skyrim mods right now. However, this mod has been updated to work with Fallout 4, and what it does is it merges your ESP files into a single ESP file and works wonderfully for those mods that are a little modular and want to install five or six separate ESP files. So if you're interested in merging your ESP files, you want to head over to the Files section and you want to download the Merge Plugins tool. And here is our Merge Plugins tool. So we just want to extract this all to our desktop. So we'll come over here, we'll go New, Folder, and we'll just call this Merge Plugins. And you just want to highlight, drag, and extract that all into that location. So I've just switched them over. Here we have the actual folder with our tool in it. So we want to open up our Merge Plugins folder. And what you want to do is create a new profile if this doesn't auto find Fallout 4 for you. And you just go create new profile and you will change it to Fallout 4 and then you'll tell it the path of where your Fallout 4 is located. And once you've given it the correct directory name, it'll glow green in the background. Then you just need to click on the game icon, it'll go slightly blue and click OK and it will open. And here we have every single ESP file I have installed in Fallout 4. This is very, very close to the 256 mod limit. And what we're going to do is make it a little bit smaller. So I'm looking at these here, these creative perk mods. Where I have installed 6 out of the 7 because I didn't want Charisma because I have another mod that affects Charisma perks and it wasn't working correctly. So I want to merge these 6 into one Creative Perks mod. This is a very very good example because if I installed this mod normally it would only put in one ESP but because I went modular and only selected a few it gave me those few very specifically. It's yeah, it's how the mods have to work. But now we have the option to merge these together. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we select Fallout4.es M. And actually a good first step is to just uncheck everything because we don't want to load in all of them, we only want to load in the ones that we want. So Fallout 4 ESM we need that because what we're trying to do is select all of the ESM and ESP files, so the master and plugin files, that are required to run the mod that we're merging. So we want to get all of our creative per plugins and we just want to see this OK button hasn't gone clickable yet because we haven't got a full selection yet. Like we've got these six, but there's something up here that these mods require uh, and it will go. It will be shining red if we can find it. Here they are. DLC Nuka World and DLC Coast. These ones are red because they are required for that mod. So we'll select those two and then here you go. It's selectable now. Once you have all that, click OK. It'll take a few moments to load them all in. And here we go. Now it will also ask you when you've created a new profile to set up a couple of options here. You do want to go into integrations and make sure you select the one you are using, whether you're using a mod organizer or a or Nexus mod manager. I am using Nexus mod manager, so I will select that. And then you want to go to select your mod manager path. So you want to find where you've installed your Nexus mod manager. I have mine installed under Fallout 4. Some people probably don't like that, but it's the way I run because I want everything under the one file. Folder. So we'll pop that in there and it automatically picked up the Fallout 4 mods virtual install file which is our mod manager mods path. Once you've got that you want to head back into merging and make sure that your merge destination directory has updated to show you that it is under your Nexus mod manager folder Fallout 4 mods virtual install. Okay so here are all our plugins. Gives us a bit of detail on the side here. The number of records it edits, the number of overrides it has, author, blah blah blah. Useful information if you're interested in it, but we don't really need to know. 
And then here's a flag. So these flags are what other users have given to these folders. So Fallout 4 ESM, which is the master file for Fallout 4, this is blacklisted and cannot be merged. We still needed to put it in here because these plugins draw off of it, but we're not actually able to merge it alone. So what we want to do is under merges, we want to right click and create new merge or under plugins, we want to right click one of our plugins, add to merge and create a new merge here. Either method you do will open up this edit merge option and we want to give this a name. I'm just going to name it my creative perks. The my helps me realize that I'm the one that did this one because this is just going to look like any other mod by the time we're done with it. And then you want to copy your name there and then you want to paste that into your file name, control V or right click paste. So we have my creative perks.esp. We want to keep the merging method as overrides and the renumbering as conflicting. You shouldn't ever need to change this, but if something isn't working for you, you might need to change renumbering to all. But leave them as they are for now, click OK, and here we are with our merge. It has no mods in it yet, so when I go to our plugins, select every plugin that we're looking at, which is just the creative perks. Again, we don't need these master files in the actual merge. We just need them here because these perks will draw information from them. So right click and then add to merge, and we want to add these six to our creative perks. So if we come down under here, we now have a size of six, which is excellent, but it's orange. So we want to right click it, we want to go to plugins, and we want to resolve the issues that we have here. So what do we got? What's the problem? Needs error check. Okie dokie. So we'll right click, we'll go plugins, and we will check the plugins for errors. Checking them all, all done, and close. So it's still red because we had those two errors. So we'll jump back into plugins, and as you can see, we have green these have no errors and up here these two have errors and might not be able to be merged properly now what we can do is you can come down to the actual plugin right click it go errors and you can ignore the errors not the greatest thing to do but if they are minor conflicts sometimes you can get away with it if it says major conflict don't even try uh, this one just says has errors, so it's not even like a conflict issue, it's an actual error, so I'm probably not going to ignore it. We will see if we can fix it from here. It doesn't want to because it failed to remove this effect, which is what our problem is. So we're just going to right click, remove from merge, right click, remove from merge. So it looks like we're only going to merge four out of the six, but I mean, we're still going to turn four into one, saving ourselves three plugin spaces. So better than nothing. Now it's green, as you can see, because it is using only plugins that have been ticked with no errors. Now we just want to right click that, head down to build merge, an option that wasn't available to us before, but now that it's green, it is and it will make our little plugin for us. There we go, all done. So it has saved it to my Fallout 4, Nexus Mods, Fallout 4 Mods, Virtual Install, My Creative Perks with an ESP. So we'll close that and let's go hunt that down, shall we? So Nexus Mod, Fallout 4, Mods, Virtual Install. Now it'll be right down the bottom because the rest are numbers. And there it is, My Creative Perks. Now, if we hop into this, we are going to want to grab our ESP file, but you'll notice that's a .save. So what we want to do is we want to close this, close out of merge plugins, and there you go. It is now an ESP file without the .save on the end, and we want to drag this onto our desktop. So we'll just make a copy of it. And then we want to home back into our virtual install section or wherever the mod went, and we want to make a archive out of this. So it's just zipping it, you might need to download WinZip or Win7 to be able to do this, but you just want to right click on your folder, you want to go add to an archive, don't really need to touch anything, select OK, there we go. We now have my creative perks, we'll bring this on over to the desktop as well, and now we need to install it. So if this looks familiar to you, this is what a mod looks like, isn't it? So we'll just make sure that it is in our proper Nexus Mod Manager, Fallout 4, Mods, where the rest of our mods end up going. We'll just make sure we push that into there. There we go, My Creative Perks. And then we want to head back out of Nexus Mod, back into Fallout 4, head into our Fallout 4 data folder, where the rest of our ESP files are, and we want to basically install our mods. So we're going to copy this, or actually I'll move it over. And there we go, My Creative Perks is installed. Now, it's a simple matter of just heading on over to our Nexus Mod Installer, 
finding the My Creative Perks ESP down the bottom of our list, ticking it on, but also making sure that we now untick the mods that we actually merged into this. Now, if you've tried merging a whole host of mods, my Valdesil's item sorting patch merger up here, which wasn't able to grab a host of these, but still has about 12 or 14 or so patches in it. If you forgot exactly what patches you do have in there, what you want to do is just go back to that folder we had. So we had it in our Nexus Mod Manager, our Fallout 4 Mods folder. We call this our My Creative Perks. Just open that, up that archive, head on into the folder, look at the merge and plugins, and it will tell you the plugins that you have actually put in here. So we have Creative Perks Intelligence, luck, perception, strength. So we can remove those four ESPs from our load order and replace them with that singular ESP that we just made. And that's how you merge plugins. It's incredibly handy, very easy to do as well. And if it didn't work, if you go and check it out and the mods aren't installed properly using your new ESP, it's a very simple matter of just unticking your Creative Perks ESP, and then reselecting those ESPs that you were using before in your load order, and everything will just be the way it was. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with that one friend who just can't stop modding. Or if you use this guide to help you merge a mod or three, let us know in the comments section below to give others an idea of successful mod combos. Have fun scavenging in the wastelands, and guys, take care. <laughs>